Ladies and gentlemen, once again, welcome to Lunch Money. We are your new noon. I'm Gina Savage. I'm here with host, we're co-hosting, that's the name of the game, Christy Miller. Welcome Woo! to Lunch Money. Woo! Oh. I like how you went, we're co-hosting, like we're scissoring. <laughs> <laughs> now everyone's going to think of that. I mean, well, now, well, that's going to be my new term for scissoring. Oh, they're co-hosting. <laughs> <laughs> totally. all off the cuff ladies and gentlemen we are that's how we roll you know hey just, just rock paper scissors co-host co-hosting <laughs> so horrifying already not that i not, not, all of a sudden not that there's anything wrong with that this i'm never not, going not to not co-host you can scissor all you want knock yourself out i'm not going to co co-host I'm, ever I'm again i'm just gonna, come on, i'm already spilling my prop what are you, this Gallagher? My, my, coffee. <laughs> my, my cup runneth over with my coffee cup. What are you, Gallagher? What's my prop? prop. <laughs> Whatever works. You know, you got to go for it, you know? And, and look, <laughs> when, when coffee is going for it, <laughs> you've got problems. All right. This, uh. is how, this is how fast I can get serious. That's why one day I'll be hired for SNL. I can answer really fast. Okay. Uh, well, the props work for Carrot Top. <laughs> but what else? But nothing else did. What happened to that guy? Jesus. Uh, he had one plastic surgery too many and became Kathy Griffin. <laughs> We're not going to go there. But remember that Wilding, Wildenstein woman, the one that turned into like the lion face lady? Oh, She's I like live. Yeah. Wildenstein or whatever her name was. She yeah. like, that, that took uh, plastic surgery to a whole new realm. She made Joan Rivers go, what the fuck are you doing? Oh my <laughs> God, can we talk? What the hell's going on over here? Oh, oh. <laughs> yes. That's the 80s reference. Yes, yes. Well, we get it. Yeah, we're a hundred. Kids, I don't know about the kids. What They'll kids? learn soon enough. I have kids? I don't know. Somebody's kids. Nobody's kids are watching this. Just kids, are you there? Group. The people kids. that are having coffee and going, what are those two up to? <laughs> kids, are you there? Kids, are you there? Kids? <laughs> what, are the kids? what are those two up to? Up to? But what are those two up to? Of those you know, two. I, what are those two co-hosts up to? <laughs> They're co-hosting. <laughs> co-hosting. Uh, yeah. Can I tell you how, uh, like, this week, I don't know where it went. Do you have any idea where it went? I, I, have you seen it? I, uh, I, I don't even know where I am right now. I know. That's how it's been. Well, I don't think he's officially conceded at this point, unless, you know, I've been watching the news. At a certain point, you're just like, I can't even do this anymore. Yeah. But... I stopped here's watching my, the news. Here's my hack joke. Okay. He's not, he didn't, he didn't concede because he's conceded. Hilarious. <laughs> I know that's why I'm not the joke. I look, I can act funny. I just am not funny. <laughs> not really. I have a funny face though. No, you don't have a funny face. You just no, no, don't, no, no. You have an eye for funny. I have an eye for funny, but as you know, you ever get that? I get this. I get this. I say to people, I'm in comedy. And then they look at me immediately. Like, they don't know what side of comedy I could be on. And they say, oh, you, you tell jokes, don't you? Like, like you, you tell jokes. And, and, I, and then I literally do the Joe Pesci. Why? Do I, I look funny to you? Do I look funny to you? You see what I mean? No one cares. Let's, you know, and no one gives off. So let's talk about that because we saw, I mean, this is old news already, this, but we, but I happen to catch it. Uh, Kevin Hart. Oh yeah. I, I think uh, what Kevin Hart's doing is going to be our new normal for comedy. Now there's not going to be any more going to theaters or clubs and shooting specials. It's going to be shooting a special in your living room. You know, I mean, thank God we have this as our living room because I'm going to sit right there and shoot my special. <laughs> I know, That's right? My, those are my closing jokes up there on the top shelf because they're top shelf jokes. 
<laughs> See, the rest of, I'm so broke, I can't afford the rest of the set. <laughs> she couldn't afford the However whole picture. That works, I, I can't. Mine is like a, a shortened version, but he seems to, apparently his special is going to be called like what? Zero fucks given? Yes. Zero I fucks think. given. And is it coming out? Let's, I, I was looking at it uh, earlier and it releases on. Yesterday. Nope. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> was it really? That would be no, it releases <laughs> November 17th. So we're early. Okay. So it's yeah. close. Yeah. So it'll be released Tuesday, the 17th. Okay. Well, let's uh, congratulations, Kevin, for not giving a f no zero for zero fucks. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. Kevin Hart's in a mansion where he could well, buy a little can... stage and, 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 and but he has space and he bought a little stage and he has a whole sound system installed in his house and it's set up like a little theater club because he has money could you imagine the comics that, uh, that you know and i know all of us idiots in our crappy fucking apartments in new york city trying to do a netflix special with a studio with 14 roommates <laughs> I, I i i think first of all i think it can be done i think you could have zero i think you could give zero fucks but if the industry is behind you with your zero fucks, if they yeah. really like you, yep. they you could shoot it on your terrace. Yeah. If all of a sudden you're like the person, like Chappelle, well, Chappelle, and I'm and this is in honor of Chappelle. So forgive me. I know you don't like it, but you know what? This is this is how many fucks I give. Watch this. Uh -oh. That's right. Uh -oh. Daytime smoked. Uh oh, we this just went. Um, we just went to seven p.m. <laughs> <laughs> Honor, I know my smoking is an honor. You can't even see it anyway. I know. It's <laughs> the of the freaking thing anyway. But, but, but like, I think, what, uh, what was I getting at? The zero, the zero fucks, right? <laughs> Industry behind you. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Well, exactly. And uh, my special is going to come out and it's going to be called Two Fuck Minimum. Because I don't have zero fucks because I'm hanging on to the last two I have. I like it. That's a good, I. I two fuck minimum, right? I, 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 I don't, I don't even know what the fuck is anymore. I don't even know what it even is. And I mean, in life and in like physical, I'm going off. I don't even know what I'm, this is how little, little fucks I've had this week. Little fucks. I've had zero. But let me say <laughs> something about Kevin Hart. Okay. Because okay. yes. I've said it a million times on other different things, but not on lunch money. Hi, where are your new noon? Um, <laughs> but Kevin Hart, like, he went for it, had a belief in himself that I've never seen in another human being. It is, you know, like just the wherewithal to just, just know who you are, to go out there, to grab it by the, mm -mm, and, uh, and to do it. And, um, you know, uh, people love him and yeah. he, he doesn't have to give a fuck. No, he's in a position. He's he worked has, really hard. He's, he's at the money status and in, in career status of no fuck zone. Like he's reached the no fuck zone. See, yeah. I'm still in the, I, I have to give a fuck zone because I ain't shit. But Kevin Hart's at the no fucks given zone. And, and you work for that. And, he, you know, it, carve it, Kevin carved out his own lane. Like, you know, yes. remember Richie Tank had told him you should don't even do comedy. You can't, you're, you're terrible. You should find something else to do. And he's like, what? And look at him now, you know? So People don't take, just figure out who you are as a comic and just create your own niche, do what you're good at and your audience will find you. I mean, I have six followers on Instagram, so I have found <laughs> my niche. <laughs> Look out, Joe Rogan, I'm coming for you. <laughs> I, uh... So, but it's just carving out your own lane. Chris Rock was the same way. He carved his own lane. He couldn't get arrested. The black clubs hated him, the white clubs didn't get him, but he just kept pounding and pounding, created his own niche. So that's what makes these guys special. And so did every member in his family <laughs> at this point <laughs> with the Sherrod and Tony and, and right, like, Jordan. Like, I mean, they're all funny guys. So, yeah, you know, I but mean, like, they have it in, in, yeah. in the genes. You know, the Rocks, the Wayans, like how many of them are going to be comics? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Well, it, it, in my day, it was the Wayans and it was a young Jennifer Lopez as, you know, what were they, the Fly Girls? Yeah. Back, yeah, yeah they were the um, Fly Girls. In my day. day. Yeah. Back in my day, we had these things called fly girls. 
You look like you're sitting this, at a. You look like this you're is sitting, me waving my cigarette. No one can see. You, with the cigarette, you look like you're sitting at a dive bar, talking to yourself around four o'clock, with like a yeah. whiskey on the rocks and an ashtray full of cigarette butts and ass. Back in my day, it was Back the Fly Girls, day. and nobody's <laughs> listening to you. The bartender's like, yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> yeah, they can give zero fucks. So getting back, give zero fucks. That's what that's what the president gives right now. Zero fucks. He's not conceding. No. Nobody He's never going to say the words. He almost did. He didn't. Nope. The only time he said the words is on one of his tweets when he said Joe Biden won because of so of like illegal votes. He won. Well, yeah. Well, there you said it. He won. <laughs> Thank you. Now just get the fuck out. <laughs> legal votes. 306. Tremendous victory. Okay. But I'm not. Look, let's not even. Anyway, it doesn't um, even matter because it's right. all. Uh, I'm happy for Kevin. Get him back to that. But I have to say one thing. I think at the point, and this is no disrespect to Kevin. I never disrespect. There's no disrespect. Thing, right? I don't have time for it because I, I also don't give zero fucks at, at the end of the day. But uh, at the point where you have that much money, it would be nice if you actually, and I'm not, this is not, in my case, like if that ever, ever happens, mm -hmm. I would want to give some fucks like to people that, you know, could benefit from the fox not literally i'm sure he does and thank you i'm sure I know, he's he probably does. given to every charity known to man yeah yeah so he does and so. my thing is with this now with this whole virtual stand-up you know comedy specials now that they're being released is you know it's all i i always feel like there's so many comics that are like young like the five to ten year ones that are like i'm cutting an album i'm shooting a special are you though you know I you know am. what i mean like now everybody has a fucking special or an album and it's like it's not even special anymore remember when specials were actually special when you had yeah. to bust your ass and you had to have hours and hours of material to cut, cut it down to the hour right. that you wanted. Mm -hmm. And it was something tremendous. It was like released in theaters or it was HBO Showtime, whatever it was. It was like a big deal. And mm -hmm. nowadays it's just like, oh, I'm going to take my iPhone and record something. And now I'm going to put it on Amazon or on Netflix or so, wherever they, they'll host it. And like, oh, look, I shot a special. It's like, oh, okay, you, you okay. Yeah, I, I just, it's like nothing is special anymore. I feel like now it's really not going to be special. Like, yes. just, mine's going to be called, you know, my, you know, instead of a special, it's going to be called a meh. <laughs> it's going to be like, you like, uh, you know, what we were talking about last week when, uh, you know, I was telling you I worked in the, um, in the strip club, but I, you know, I wore clothes. I was a bartender, silver bartender back then. But it's just like, you just get to that point where, yeah, eh. And then you're like, what? Sure, yeah. this is it. Yeah, and here's another Coffee joke. Yeah. yeah, here you go. Here you go. Here you go, boys. Yeah, I'm like, uh, mm -hmm. yeah. And this is my closer. You ready for it, you fucking assholes? <laughs> Take that and go shove it up your closing <laughs> ass. Good night. That's my fucking show. <laughs> I used to have this. I used to have this joke where, like, if I was a stripper, uh, it would be like, uh, yeah. Give it to me, give it to me, give it to me. Yeah, yeah, go ahead, give it, up. give it. Yeah, give it to me. <laughs> That's a porn star. Whatever, give it to me. <laughs> <laughs> That's how, yeah, yeah, give it to me, give it to me. Somebody was, would want that. So Somebody would want the, uh, the non-give, like zero fucks given porn star. That should be, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Give it to me, give it to me. Give we should me. open a strip, jo strip joint called Zero Fucks Dancing. And just, zero fucks. <laughs> I'll go up there and be like, Pour some sugar on me, yeah. Uh, in yeah, the name exactly. of love, pour some. Oh, get the fuck away from yeah. me. Here, tip me to not touch me. Get the fuck out of here. You want me to? I don't know. Have we set a record for how many fucks we've said in a podcast or uh, a Facebook no. live event? Nobody will out fuck Carlos Mencia. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> One time, no, this yeah. is a good story. One time at the comedy store, he was <laughs> on the main room. This is like a hundred years ago, what before you know, Joe outed him for and it just did that amazing thing because we'd been on him for years for stealing. Mm -hmm. And we sat there in the main room cover booth outside the curtain listening to him. We counted 27 fucks in his first five minutes. <laughs> well, I, I don't know. I 
we're close, but but uh, you know who opens uh, or did open? I don't know if he's still. Kevin Dombrowski used to open for, I think Carlos Mencia, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, can you get yeah. Kevin? Can you get can you get Kevin on the line? Kevin, are you there? Kevin, are you there? <laughs> Kevin, no, he's not here. He said he's uh, too busy trying to get his jokes back from Carlos. <laughs> <laughs> Is Carlos? Now. Carlos Dombrowski, fuck! <laughs> <laughs> Carlos Dombrowski. <laughs> he's, he's one of the, he is one of the nicest guys, I think. Very sweet. Very, Very sweet. I don't, I don't does know the him job. that well. Yeah, I don't know him that well, but I just know him through Gino. And yeah. like doing shows with Gino, that's about it. Gino Bisconte we're referring to. Yes. Gino Bisconte. Biscotti. <laughs> hey, Biscotti. Hey, what flavor do you want? I want the Gino Biscotti. I want the yeah. Gino Biscotti. It's angry, bitter, and tastes like cigarettes. Okay. <laughs> Man, not wrong. Um, not that I would know firsthand. Let me no. just Ooh. back up a notch. But we just we just know way too many people that have co-hosted with him. <laughs> co-hosting. Co-hosting. Oh That's never going to get old, by the way. Never. All right, so you know, um, there's one other thing. I mean, and and you know, I, I have stuff I got to do. So um, not that I, I mean, there's things going on in Florida. I'll tell you about them after. But like, uh, you know, there will be a new administration. Uh, can't, can't happen soon enough, really. But uh, but the COVID thing is still going on, and oh, uh, and oh that oh that yes, it's, that's still happening. And um, I have you know, I have. My masks all need to be washed. I mean, I, I, I'm in and out of lately doing things, trying to turn life into, you know, something yeah. at this point. But there, how many, like how many celebrities were there that had COVID? All of them. Pretty much every celebrity out there. Every single, that was a shitload. You know, the latest one uh -oh. that I found out about was Ooh. Hugh Grant. Oh, he had it early though, didn't he? I don't, but it's, I only just found out, and I am watching a fabulous HBO. I will say it, fabulous. All of a sudden, I'm sick. I'm Kim Cattrall in Sex in the City. Fabulous. Fabulous. It's fa fabulous. I have a fabulous new show I'm watching uh, with uh, Nicole Kidman. Uh, I think it's called The Undoing. And, oh, I heard um, about that. Hugh Hugh Grant Hugh. is Hugh Hugh bastard. <laughs> <laughs> he is great in it so oh, that is a, my he's so yeah. good he's so good and yeah. he, he's such a great actor like one of my favorite movies of all time is love actually he was amazing yes. in it and that it just shows how good of an actor he is that compl everybody completely forgot about the black prostitute he picked up on sunset and gardener in hollywood yes and he had one of the best responses to that um on late night television when he uh, you know, when he, I, I, I forget, because it's been so many years, but I remember thinking, well, that's a way to, you know, just put it, you know, to, to acknowledge it and move on. And that's right. what he did. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, what's it going to take? What's it going to take when you have like, a, I mean, going back a thousand years, when you have like Elizabeth Hurley and that's still like, this is why. Yeah. Um, that, I, this to is me. Why. To me, Hugh Grant picking up, uh, what was her name? Something Brown. Divine Brown. Divine Brown. Never forget it. Yeah. Uh, that was the very first Black Lives Matter march. And uh... <laughs> Divine Brown. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, Miss Divine, <laughs> honey. Yeah. Yes. So, yeah. Who else? Anybody else? I, I, mean, was, I was actually happy when he picked her up. I was stoked about it. He must be so bored of the same croissant every morning, right? You know, yes, Elizabeth right. Hurley, like she's so perfect, right? And like she's like <laughs> white bread, and she's got no ass at all, you know, and she's got no breast, you know, because you got nothing to grab onto, you know. And then I had to go pick up me a little piece of brown sugar on the corner, right? And she had a big fat fucking ass, right? I got to bury my face in it. <laughs> I'm not sure. That's a good accent. And since I don't have a letter this week, I'm glad that you have an accent. I don't. No one wrote me. No one wrote no. you. Well, well no. then. Um, no. All right. But, well, but, uh, but that's okay. Else? For next week, I, I'm guaranteeing that there will be a letter that uh, Christy, my we'll co-host, <laughs> will have. To, <laughs> will have to interpret. Um, hey, but yeah. 
I'm going to run with co-hosts. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. So, uh, yeah, but I just, I but I just interpreted the police tapes, you know, the tapes from the Hugh Grant, Divine Brown. Yes. Interaction. Oh, okay. <laughs> that <Yes>. was it. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> That, then that's that. But I think who else? There was somebody, you know what? Because they, they did this list. I mean, you know, it's like macabre, you know, like here's another person, here's another well, person. Well, here's, here's another... well, okay, here's something on topic about that. When okay. Tom Hanks and Rita Wilson were diagnosed, you know, mm -hmm. they're, they're American as apple pie, you know, like that's America's actors, you know what I mean? Like that's, you know, baseball, apple pie, Tom Hanks. Yeah. Kevin Hart got COVID the same week Tom Hanks did, and he didn't say nothing because he didn't want to be upstaged by Tom Hanks because he knows people like Tom Hanks that's, better than him. Wow. And it's hilarious. That, you know, that's why I never said it because I didn't want to be upstaged. I wanted my own little thing. And it was almost like I started laughing because I'm like, oh, my God, that's totally Mother Teresa, Princess Diana. Yeah. When yeah. Princess Diana died, Mother Teresa died, what, the same day or the next day? Something like that? And Mother mm -hmm. Teresa just got trampled in the town. Nobody gave a fuck about Mother Teresa. <laughs> it's Mother like, Teresa. Princess goodbye, Princess Di. <laughs> Though I never <laughs> knew you, but yeah. you fucked an Egyptian and Queen Elizabeth had you <laughs> killed in the tunnel. Woo! Mm -hmm. It seems to me that you will wreck your car in a tunnel inside France. Woo! Oh. <laughs> yeah. Well, That's called I improv, mean, ladies and gentlemen. And, and, I love improv. I love improv. That's what this, you know, ultimately that's what this is. We're just, you know, yeah. doing the thing, going back and forth. We're shooting you know what, the shit. You know, you know what the answer to every question in improv is? Yes, and? So, uh, I don't know about you, but um, it froze what's going on? In, I mean, I can tell you a little bit about what's going on. Okay, we're back. We're back. A little unstable Mabel Are we back? connection. Yeah, we're back. Sorry about the little glitch. You know. Whatever. The technology. We don't, you know what? Zero fucks given. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I'm. I'm. To that end, I'm. I'm. I'm working on some things. So hopefully, I'll. And we're frozen. Woo! People, much. Uh, weather was bad. And how yeah. do we feel about the pool people? The pool they were not people. Around. No pool people were, aw. No. So in but, honor of the pool, because I've gotten feedback from the show, people yes. that listen to us, they love yes. the pool people. Yes. And well, so I have to do that for them. So. Right. Well, my. <laughs> oh, Lord. In pool people, and we're friends many times already. I play both sides, like to hear all the, you know, the different opinions people. and, and pool facts, people wherever they come from, where all the facts people. come. So, um, but the pool people were, uh, they were non this week. I think they're all just kind of chilling right now. Um, uh, but, no, uh, they're probably hiding. Everybody's been fucking quiet. Come on, Chippy Chat. Oh, oh, you know, what? they're probably in D.C. <laughs> marching. I don't know how many, how many showed up at that march. Not a million. They, they said 100,000. Because the, the tabloids were all saying it fell 900,000 short of a million MAGA march. <laughs> Just add a zero and then we got a million. I, I just want politics to just get somewhat more boring again, you know? Somewhat? I want it completely <laughs> boring. Can it just be I want, a little more boring? I want it like as boring as paint drying on a yeah. Mr. Rogers set. That's how yeah. boring I want my politics. Today in, in the White House, da -da 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 that it, kind of news. Yeah, I want, it, <laughs> I want it PBS boring. You know what I mean? NPR yeah. boring. Not, yeah. not uh, reality TV exciting. I don't want Bravo, you know, VH1, Spike. <laughs> right. I, I'd like to live without the age of sound bites. Like he said, bing, and then they pull this little freaking, you know, uh, you know, yeah, great, um, Clorox or Windex, and that'll, you know, kill. I don't want to hear it. I want to hear a little sound bite. 
Did you hear Windex kills the uh, coronavirus? I don't want to hear any of it. None of it. Shut it down. All right. Um, so let me tell you what's going on in Florida. Yes. On in New York, and we'll wrap this, babe. And people want to eat or sleep with yes. knowing the people we know. Yeah. Um, my friend Esther Koo. I don't know if you know Esther Koo. Esther Very Koo. Funny girl. Yes. Yes, I know. Esther. She be, She is doing a show on November eighteenth at a place in Miami called Smart Bites. Nice. Uh, some of the same characters that were on the um, the Sunshine State comedy uh, show are on that show. Freddie Stebbins is back on on that show. Cindy. Nice. Uh, Cindy Jane is on that nice. show. Uh, young man that I don't know who I'm looking forward to seeing. Um, so this, so that's next week. And there's a, a hint, slightly possible, maybe I might do about five or six minutes. All right, that's it. Ah, that's in Miami, November 18th. Woohoo! Yeah, maybe. Well, you better film lane. it. Eh. Film eh. it. Eh, give it to me, give it to me. Eh. Yeah, put your iPhone up and just film it. Be like, yeah, this is it. Here's my vagina. Is all right any... maybe uh, we'll see we'll see how it goes but um, i'm 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 delighted that she asked me she didn't have to ask me so thank you esther koo yeah um, esther koo my friend karen will be there you know it'll be crew so you know wear your masks come out to smart bites Love uh it. we're gonna be doing some more stuff at gatsby's that's my home joint you know and it, it, you know literally love it over there um can't wait yeah can't wait for the next show yeah can't Keep wait posting. Mm -hmm. yes awesome yeah so what's going on you with you? Uh, you. Just, just you. The you. Impossible. you. Uh, you. Just working on uh, Christy and Lisa J.C. Best this Wednesday and every Wednesday at 9 p.m. on governorsradio.com. Mm -hmm. And then on YouTube after that, the replays, all the archived episodes of Lunch Money and Christy and Lisa J.C. Best are on my YouTube channel. And I did a show last night out in Queens, Long Island border mm -hmm. and Elmont with Barry Ribs. And ah. uh, it, it was cute, you know, because you know, everybody's got to be like incognito with our shows. You know what I'm saying, girl. So it was cute. It was like a barber shop, but in the back, they had this patio area that they had covered nice. with artificial turf, a little stage built and couches. And it was like a hookah bar. There was a band it's sitting yeah. behind us. It was like the Tonight Show. It was actually, it was really cute. It was small and quaint. You know, it was, it was sold out, but you know, that was what, 15 people maybe in this whole place. But it was, everybody was like on couches and everybody right. was masked up and everybody mm -hmm. was like respectful. And the, the, the crowd was so much fun and it just felt good to, because I haven't been doing that many live shows just because there's not many in New York. Right. You know? And I've just been working on the podcasting and all the virtual stuff. So it was like, it was so nice to like feel people's energy and see human beings laugh in real time and, yes. and just feel love again. And it was, it was a blast and it's like, oh God, Good. I can't wait till we can do this more often. Good. I look forward to that too. And I look, you know, I don't, I'm not sure when I'm heading up North and especially now, cause I think things are the, you know, relocking down. I don't know what's going on. Uh, the, I'm, literally giving zero fucks about it right now and uh enjoying florida life i mean i have been coming as you know down here you know 30 years my father lived down here and i did not know what i know now and that i i am truly and I, i'm a new yorker you can't get rid of this nope but i'm a beach person i've oh. said it i'm a beach Dude, person if i, and on the I beach. need it yeah yeah, yeah. i need it and so that's where I'm, that's, yeah. And you know what, you, you know, you can take all of the, all of the, you know, trimmings away, right? <laughs> like right. my, you can take this whole set, okay? You can take, <laughs> take the set. You can take the plants out. You can take the shelves out. You can't down. take that beach. That beach is everything. And um, I'm so grateful, you know, for that. I'm so grateful yeah. just to get some sunshine and to be, you know, uh, you know, productive. And it's, and things are going well here. So, uh, yeah. Yay. Can of corn just spoke. Can of corn just spoke. All right, co-host. Anything else to add? Uh, besides just cutting this show down to size. <laughs> Cut it down to size. Uh, ah, I think we got it. I think that's it. And uh, continue supporting pseudo live comedy. Yeah. You know, whatever we are. But uh, this has been Lunch Money. I've been your 
scissor Christy and my scissor sister Gina. <laughs> And we're every Monday at 12 p.m. or noon, or as Gina says, we are your new noon. And uh, like us, love us, and share us. Woo! Share See us, you. baby. Peace. See you next Monday.